Okay, so if you clicked on this video, this is going to be a bit different from the kind of videos I usually do, which are like pick a card videos. This I wanted to do, I wanted to just do a collective reading and like, um, just do a reading based off of what's going on. If there is a message somebody needs to hear, somebody needs to know, um, I don't know, I just felt like doing it. So this video is going to be um different than the pick a card videos i'm going to see what's going to come through as a message and i'm going to also probably pick a card from this deck but i'm going to put it to the side for now and let's draw the tarot cards for you and see what um the reading is all about the message that the universe or your guides want you to know also i do I do want to say that this reading could go really really specific it could just simply be about one person like maybe there's just one person who needs to know this message or for a very few number of people um that's another thing i felt when i was about to do this reading but again you know take it how it resonates it's a general reading so let me see what's gonna come through Okay. Okay, so this is really interesting. The kind of cards I got. I got the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which is really interesting. I'm going to see what this is about in a bit. I'm going to keep the deck to the side. And let's see the kind of cards I drew out for you guys. These are the cards. And I'm going to see them now. So the first card I have is Two of Swords. Okay, what is this about? I'm hearing somebody's a Libra. There is a situation in our life where you're... Uh, oh, alright. There is... This could be about a person. This could be about a situation. But there is something that probably happened in our life. Where you are kind of feeling clueless. I was hear also hearing black and white. So I don't know what about that. Maybe there is somebody who is only able to see things black and white. Um, yeah, it's almost like someone's having a lot of issues when it comes to understanding a situation or a person or like interpre interpreting something in our life that has probably gone wrong or is going wrong yeah certainly okay i'm also hearing somebody is suffering from like headaches or like migraines okay You know what? I'm hearing like a lot of things, but they're not complete. So it's almost like somebody is having a lot of jumbled thoughts and they don't know what's really going on. And then the next card I have is Six of Pentacles, which, um, okay. I feel like you have 
you're kind of stuck in a situation which is like or you're stuck with a person who's not pure like their intentions are not pure um also you're stuck in a situation which is like someone's trying to i'm hearing you're being sabotaged also someone's trying to take advantage of you in some way yeah and i'm also hearing there's something to do with um I don't know why I heard corn and then I also heard corny. I also do want to say this could be, um, this could be related to money for some of you, or probably not. I'm um, looking at this card. I'm hearing something about a bat. Maybe you saw a bat recently. Something about bats. I mean, the word haunting. There is some sort of a fear that you have and you're worried that that might be true. You're worried about... You're worried that something's going to come true, like something that's really, really awful, I want to say. Um, something that you're having sleepless nights over, almost, I want to say. I'm hearing you've been tricked. Who are you and what you're going through? Like, this is insane. I'm hearing you've been tricked. I was hearing the fool. I'm being reminded of the fool card and I heard the fool. It's almost like somebody made you a fool. You feel that way that you were, like you were made a fool by someone and you were tricked into something. That's the sort of feeling I have. And, um... I'm hearing what's fake will come to the surface. Something about that. And then, oh my goodness, this this has to be, either it's a love reading or there is a person involved here. Like, I instantly knew when I looked at this Nine of Swords. But this is, co like, confirming everything even more. There could be an air sign. This is a King of Swords. There could be an air sign around you or in this situation. And speaking of bats, I think this is a bat. I was just talking about bats, was I not? Okay, that's interesting. Have you been seeing a lot of feathers recently? You know what? There is somebody who wants to send you a message. That's what I would say. Oh, all right. Okay. There is somebody who wants to speak the truth. Oh, all right. Okay, so we don't have the High Priestess card right here. And I I know I don't have it right here. Maybe it's in the other cards. I haven't seen them yet. But I can already tell that there is either there's improper communication going on. There is um, or there is no contact, literally. Whatever the case is, you really are not aware of this person's intentions. Like, they're not aware of you. You're not aware of them. There's like an imbalance going on between you two. You both are also kind of very, I mean, you both are poles apart. This is very specific. I don't know who are you and who is this individual, but um, this reading is like, there's something special here, though, I would say. Um, maybe special about you or special about this person or about this connection something you know and then we have five of wands or maybe you just need to like you're just in such a mess that you need to get this message yes okay i'm hearing somebody struggling with something day and night i heard day and night is that a song is there a song like that day and night I think there is. Yes. Something about that. Day and night, I keep hearing it. I'm also hearing north. Something about that too. And then we have temperance. Okay. Um, I'm hearing it's time to be even. It's time to be even. Is there something like revenge going on?
it's time to be even. Like someone did something bad and now they want to come back and do the same to the, to the other or like, I don't know, there's like, that could be, wait. I mean, you both are like, you both don't mix. You both are like polar opposites. Like your energy, it just does not mesh well. Like there is something, I have to be honest, they could be like amazing. I don't know if this is friendship. I don't know if this is a love connection. What what this is like, I have no clue. Um, I can say one thing though. Looking at this card and like reading the entire vibe and energy of the reading, I can say you both are so poles apart. And just so different your energy does not mesh well and sometimes it might feel a bit off like something is off you know that sort of feeling like you know how um like you know with oil and water they don't mix that's the sort of feeling i have that's kind of um that's kind of the vibe day and night oh my goodness Day and night, you both are so different. Okay, that's interesting. And then I have Queen of Wands. I'm hearing a sassy friend. Um, I would say if there is somebody around you who's telling you about this person, I would say even if you don't trust this person come i think you do trust them i think this person is close to you i do want to say if there is somebody who's around you who's trying to tell you something and you might be like okay don't ruin things like don't try to spoil my mood and stuff like that i would say take a moment and kind of absorb what this person is saying and why they're saying it try to observe that they might be speaking the truth there is somebody around you who is telling you the truth or they've been telling you the truth all along that's the sort of feeling i have about someone or about a connection um that kind of thing and then i have ace of swords somebody's name could start with n I heard Nicole, and also I heard somebody's name could start with C. I mean, this is really complicated. So I don't know what is really complicated, but there is something. So yeah, something about a situation being complicated. You know, it's kind of like the more and more you try to... Um, analyze the situation or try to make sense of it the more you get entangled in it in this like the more you find yourself being puzzled and confused and tricked kind of like that like yeah like you get far and far away from the truth and that's the sort of feeling i have then i've got ace of wands I'm hearing it's temporary. It's temporary. But what's temporary? Starfish. I heard starfish. Also, you know the kind of feeling I have when I'm looking at this card? It's almost like... Um, yes, it's almost like something is temporary and like you must not... Yeah, it's almost like there is something that you cannot trust. Maybe it's a feeling you got when you met someone for the first time. Um, or it's... This is a feeling. I am so sure of it. It's an emotion. It's a feeling. Um, yeah. Like a hormonal thing or something. I don't know what this is though. It's not a gut feeling. Maybe that's what you are confusing it with. You're thinking it's gut feeling, but it's not. Um, okay, that. Um, and then we have nine of cups. 
I'm hearing the words blessing in disguise and I know everybody hates that. Like people don't want to hear it, but if something went wrong, it went wrong for all the right reasons. All the right reasons. I know like regardless of how stupid it sounds, regardless of um the fact that it's not comforting at all, this is the truth in fact. Indeed. And um, I'm hearing it's enough. It's enough. Something about that. And wait, let me see what else is here. It's almost like somebody's. I can hear someone screaming at someone, like, go do this, like, go get out of here, and like. I think when I heard it's enough, that was also part of the scream. Like someone's literally yelling at someone. I don't know if there is a conflict going on, but I'm literally able to hear some conflict. But it's only like from one end. I cannot hear the other person. Interesting. And um, then I've got five of pentacles. I'm hearing the word godfather. Okay, is that? Whatever you think is the worst case scenario, like the worst thing possible after the situation, that's not what's going to happen. That's not the plan of the universe. Like that's not what the universe has decided for you if you are thinking that. And then I have a three of pentacles. Someone's name could start with B or P as well. First name or last name. There is, you know what, there is, um, I was hearing before I started this reading, an overload of blessings. There is an overload of blessings coming into someone's life, coming towards someone. For sure. Someone's name could also start with S. I'm hearing that too. And L. Yes. Also T. I'm hearing Tracy. Okay. Um, I'm hearing doctor. Somebody could be a doctor or something. Okay. So that's that. And then... I have the last card, which is the Seven of Pentacles. This could be something which... Um, I don't know if the situation has been going on for this long, but you have been stuck or you feel stuck in one phase of your life or like in one area. And it's been this way for a very long period of time, like... I'm hearing you can finally see it happening. You can finally see it happening. Something's coming towards you. Something is happening. You can, you know what? You cannot see it, but you can, you can almost sense it. You probably know somehow the shift in the energies and um, the kind of dreams you'd be having, the kind of experiences you're going through. Yes. Number seven could be significant and yes, certainly. And I'm going to pull a card from this deck, as I said, just to see if there is um, some sort of an advice for you guys. Let's see what do we have. Okay.
think I have two pots. The first card is Dragonfly Spirit. You know what? I got the sense of Dragonfly when I was looking at this card. Um, so, I already got this. The number 22 could be significant to someone. This, the color kind of blue, it's so vibrant. And the kind of feeling I have is... There is a mystery attached to the situation that you're in or the kind of things you're experiencing in life right now. There's some sort of a mystery attached to it. Um, this blue color especially seems really mysterious and alluring at the same time. I'm hearing if something is drawing you in, it is for a reason. I was hearing go do it, go be it or go do it, something of that kind. And then I have, I also do have life is a mystery with Bobcat Spirit, number eight. And again, I was speaking of mysteries, um, you know, this situation feeling like a mystery I mean, you're going to hear something that is going to really open open up your mind or it will make you see the truth. Something about hearing something. There's some sort of an emphasis on that. And I'm also hearing, again, there's some word I heard that starts with T specifically. And um, don't worry about your finances. It's... It's been taken care of. It's been taken care of. I'm hearing. I'm also hearing the key to your dreams is not where you think it is. Um, that's another thing. Okay. If there is something else that I missed here. Okay, somebody is still affected by something that happened a couple of months ago or like a couple of years ago, I would say. Maybe like two months ago or two years ago. Um, that's another thing I have. And um, I think I'm... Oh, I have another card here. I have the Wasp Spirit, which says sometimes life stings. And the number is 64. Um, okay, this is very much in sync with this entire reading that we had. I'm hearing, yes, sometimes life does sting, but I'm also hearing something else. I'm hearing that this is the end of it, the end of suffering or the end of waiting or the end of um, mind games, whatever you've gone through or the end of deception or the end of um, whatever it is that you've gone through, it's the end of it. I don't know why they're emphasizing it, emphasizing on it too much. I'm hearing they have your back. Somebody has got your back. I don't know who though. But there's someone who's got your back. Don't have to worry so much. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to finish off this pile right here. Not pile. This video. Right here. And I hope it resonated with you. This was a new type of um, video I tried to film. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what resonated. I would love to hear from you. So I hope you all have a lovely day and um, bye. See you guys next time.